Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. I think I'd mentioned this earlier. She has been had foreseen a conversation on wildlife on this show today. So we're just going to get right into that. It's time for Family Circle. And there's an amazing program uh, for kids, and Joy is here to talk to us about it. Joy Karibusana. Asante. I am envious in a good way of your locks. <laughs> they are beautiful and healthy Thank and you. black. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'm just hoping this ends Zanguza Brown Zitaisha and then it can be all black. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Can you, you tell us about this program that we're talking about today? Um, so. I work for an organization called Wildlife Direct, okay. and we have an um, uh, education and outreach program. And within this education and outreach program, we have what we call Wildlife Warrior Kids program. So Wildlife Warrior Kids is um, a children's pro uh, program. Conservation education is what we do. Mm -hmm. We are in uh, about 90 primary schools Whoa. in the whole country. So we are from, you'll find us in Lamu, we are in Mombasa, we are in Kwale, all the way up to a place where many people have not heard of called Merti. 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 Where is that? You need to look for Merti. I need to. Is it beautiful? The way you're just looking at me, those ones from Mikali, you need to look for it. I will. Merti? Yes. Is a place that brings you back to earth. What? Yes. Okay. It's about it's about a hundred kilometers off the tarmac. Okay. On your way to Marsabit, uh -huh. you pass Archer's Post and then you turn off on the right uh -huh. and you go into nothingness. Into nothingness. But that's where pe there are people who live there in and this country. And you are there with them. And we are in a school called Dada Chabasa. Dada Chabasa. Yes. I have never heard of it. Many people have it. And I, I hadn't heard of it until I got there. Okay. And when we got there, I was like, okay. Okay. It, oh, it wow. literally brings you back to us. Okay. Yes. We'll, we'll definitely be looking out for Meriti. And so what does this program do? We've identified that it's for kids and that you're in schools and because most of them will be at one place together. What what does it do? What is it about? So Wildlife Direct is a conservation organization. Yeah. And our mission is to connect people to nature and wildlife. Okay. So that they can treasure it and then act to conserve it. So when you look at wildlife, many people, yeah, we know wildlife generally. Mm -hmm. But how do you conserve something that you've not seen, something that you don't know anything about? Okay. So that's what the whole program is about, to bring kids as the future leaders to connect them with wildlife, to connect them with nature so that they learn how to treasure it. And when you treasure something, you want to save it. You, it's priceless to you yes. and it's important to you. Yeah. And therefore, they're able to conserve it. Um, so we teach children about wildlife, about the environment, things that we take for granted. Um, for example, we take kids to the park. Yeah. Um, we are in schools in Kibra, Madare, kids who live in Nairobi, but some of them don't even know we have a national park right next door to you guys here, okay. right? Yes. Um, when you take a child from, from Kibra to Nairobi National Park mm -hmm. and they see a giraffe and they're like, oh my God. You know, I get oh my God moments even as old as I am in the presence of wildlife. So you can imagine for kids who've never experienced that. Now imagine telling a kid in a place like Dada Chabasa about lions. Yeah. About um, wildlife. Mm. Some of them do see this wildlife every day. They've grown up with it. I mean, they're pastoralists in that area. Yes. So they see this wildlife walking around. But when you tell them that we're supposed to conserve it, it's like Zinaribu Mimea Yetu. Exactly. So Sisi Tunajua Kuzi fight off the sort of our, our enemies. So it's also to change that for them. So it's different for the different schools that very, you go very to. Very different. We have kids who've never seen a zebra. Zebra. You know, the oh. ones that you see on the yeah, road yeah, when yeah. you're driving like down. The, yeah, there's like a joint I like over here. Before you get to it, you'll see a few. You'll see there's, a few zebras there's, there's on the There's kids road. who've never seen that in Western Kenya. 
because there's no wildlife in some this there are places where there's no wildlife mm. but imagine this child growing up mm -hmm. to become minister of environment how are they going to conserve that wildlife if they don't never know nothing about they've it they've never, never seen, seen it, it. They don't know it exists. They, they've seen okay. They've seen it in pictures. Some of them think it's from outside the country. Oh, we have this here. So taking kids to the park is one of the things we do. We hold um, expeditions for children. Okay. So it's a camping expedition, which is really fun, but a lot of hard work. Um, mm -hmm. The last one we did in uh, 2019, we took 116 kids. Very ambitious. Um, Where from across. Uh, there were 11 schools, so we picked schools within the program who were doing activities in their schools. And um, we had them from the coast, from Western Kenya, mixed them up together. Mm -hmm. They came with their teachers. And we went to a place in Laikipia called Mpala. And we, we did camping. So we had tents. So kids come in, you pitch your tent. Kids who've never seen a tent before. Yeah. Pitch your tent. And we sleep then. We spend five days. Five. Five days. Joy. A hundred kids. A hundred plus. For five days. For five days. That must have been an out of the world experience for them. It was. Many of them had, of course, never left their villages. Some had never left their towns. Coming to Nairobi, for some of them, it was, it was an experience. And then going out and looking at habitat. Yes. Looking at wildlife, seeing mm -hmm. elephants for the first time. Mm -hmm. Do you know we have a zebra in Kenya that's called the Grevy zebra? It's not found anywhere else except northern Kenya. Does it look like the others? You need to look for it. <laughs> Today I am being given assignments and I'm here for it. I will do. So you, you see it's called the what? The Grevy's. Okay. Grevy zebra. Okay. It's a beautiful zebra okay. when you look at it you 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 never i don't know why i'm so tempted to just things. like google. google it now can i may i yeah sure okay cool so please allow me <laughs> gravies so i'm just gonna G -R -E -V -Y -S. Mm -hmm. e -V -Y -S. i see it oh okay imperial zebra Okay. Okay. You see, it looks different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally different from what you're used to seeing. Yes. But it's only found in northern Kenya with a, a small population in Ethiopia. And there's only three, about 3,000 of them in the whole world. And we have one here. We have them here in Kenya. We have them here, not yeah. just one. The larger population of, of them are found in Kenya. Small pocket in Ethiopia. But you only find them in the north. So if you don't go to the north, you'll never see them. So you have kids who are looking at that. Kids who've seen zebras for, you know, and they're like, wow, that looks different. Then they see the giraffe and they're like, hmm, that's not the kind of giraffe that we, we are used to seeing. Because the ones in the north are also different. And you're looking at kids who have grown up from western Kenya. They have rain. It's always green. And they're looking at this habitat that's dry. And yes. there's people who live here. Yes. There's animals that live here. Mm. So how do we then marry everything? All of this together. And that's what we do. Great. So for the schools that have joined, what is the criteria for that? If there's anybody who's watching and thinking, why are they not in my school? Our criteria is very simple. Mm -hmm. We are ideally in public primary schools good stuff we have a few secondary schools that have joined mm -hmm. but the idea why we're doing public is because private schools have the opportunity to go to these places and and to experience some of these things that we do but public primary schools are disadvantaged yeah. because they don't have funding and they don't even have that curriculum yeah conservation education is not taught in school we never grew up you know, learning about conservation education. If it wasn't for my dad, who was very passionate about wildlife and he yes. loves, you know, he used to take us to the park and everything, I probably may have not been interested in wildlife. Mm -hmm. So um, you just sign up. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. a form that's online on our yes. website, uh -huh. wildlifedirect.org. Okay. 
um, under the education and outreach program, you just fill a form. It's, it's that simple. That's it. It's that simple. I'm sorry, but I think that you're going to get so many more. <laughs> I don't know if you're up for like 200 plus kids. For Our another target country. actually is yes. to have all kids in Kenya and even in the region and Africa. We're trying to build a generation of wildlife warriors, people okay. who are aware of what is happening. Yes. You know, we're, we're having a big crisis in the world with climate change, yeah. with um, loss of biodiversity. And it's all because we're not informed. We don't mm. know. Mm. And, um, you know, we, we look, we grow up thinking that conservation is, we, we hardly ever hear about conservation. Uh, and when you do, it's probably when you're in campus mm. and you, you wanted to do law, but you're told, okay, you didn't have enough points for law. So, uh, this okay. This thing called. I need to do a degree. Mm -hmm. So what, what, where can I fit in? And then, okay, you'll do wildlife maybe you know, range management and that's or how something you like just that. Find and then you find the, yourself in, in it. There. But we want kids growing up knowing that you can make a career. Consciously. Yes, you can make, and, and there's so many opportunities um, for, for career in conservation. You can become an animal lawyer. I think we have very, very few, if I'm not wrong, maybe two or three animal lawyers in Kenya. Okay. You can become anything you can you know it's a whole world out there yeah if you decide to just get into it and this yes. is what you're doing is there an age limit to join the program um no we are we in fact we find that the challenge is with the schools because mm. they tend to restrict the younger ones ah, okay but the more the merrier the younger it is the better because kids are easily molded when they're young that's true you can get the information to the children when they're young. And some of these small, k younger ones are the ones who influence their parents. <laughs> We've got kids who've learned that you cannot throw litter because yes. you're messing up the environment. And they tell their parents, hey, no, pick that up. You can't do that. You know, when, when your child tells you, mommy, mm -mm, pick that up. Oh, you, you will can't. pick it up. You will pick it. Yes. And, and that um, embarrassment will will You'll never stick do it with again. You. That is yeah, so true. So and for anybody who's probably, we've got kids who are doing homeschooling and probably they would like, probably the school is not in the program and they'd like to join. Is that an option as well? Yeah. Okay. We, we really don't have any restrictions. That's beautiful. And and so just sign up. We'll get in, you get in touch with us. We'll get in touch with you and we roll. This is a brilliant conversation and I love it that it's an opportunity for everybody to just be part of it. And please, again, before we come to the end of this conversation, Joy, how do we set, what are the websites for this? Are we on social media as well as a program? We are on Twitter, Wildlife Direct, mm -hmm. or Wildlife Warrior Kids, um, at Wildlife Direct on uh, Instagram. Our website is um, wildlifedirect.org. We are on Facebook, Wildlife Direct. So, yeah, we're on social media, or you can just uh, send us an email, info at wildlifedirect.org, and we'll get in touch. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Maybe we could assignment. What is it? Meriti. 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 There's no I over there. <laughs> M-E-R-T-I. Meriti. I'm going to look that up, and if you can, please do that as well. We've got beautiful places in this country to visit. And if you can just have your child sign up, even for yourself, if you'd like to just be able to experience this, to see this that you've never. Do you know, I saw my first lion away from the ones that are in like a zoo in the wild last year. In the wild. They're just rare, guys. They just don't hang out. Look for them. <laughs> so <laughs> eventually, eventually, eventually that happened for me last year. It's such a highlight for me. Um, please sign up, look them up on social media and let all of us be part of that, that we know what we are conserving and why we are doing it. Okay. We're going to take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mwikalip.